Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is a differential. What does dy dx actually mean? This this video leads on from the video on what is a function. So have a look at this video if you haven't already before you before you actually watch the video I'm, you're watching now. So in that in the video about functions we said we could have a function y and it could be a function of x, z, a. We said that these were the ingredients to make y. We said for example we could have breakfast being a function of milk and uh, frosties. Like that. So we said b is a function of m and f like that. So that's the first thing. Next, uh, what, what does differential mean? A differential gives you a slope or a rate of change. Right, a slope or a rate of change. Well, what is it, what's a slope? Okay, well let's just draw a very quick X, uh, X and Y axis or X, Y plane, Cartesian plane. Say I have a function like that, that's Y equal to a function of X. Alright, now a slope would be how quickly it's changing and usually you, you have a slope by having a tangent on it. Now I'm not going to go into describing all these things but the slope would be the slope of your tangent, a tangent line. So it might be here might be here, wherever it is. So by computing the derivative, you will get the slope. That's the first thing. What else? It will give you a rate of change. So that's what slope is. Slope is a rate of change. Well, like, let's look at this. If I draw a tangent here, it's pretty much straight, right? That's fine. So you might have a certain amount of uh, whatever that slope is there. But here, the slope is different. Therefore, the rate of change is different. Here the slope is different, so therefore the rate of change is different. Now what do we mean by the rate of change? We mean how much is one variable changing when another variable changes. So say if we have y is equal to a function of x, y is equal to 2x. Okay, so if I go x is equal to 1, that means y is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4, like that. So every one unit I change in x, I change two units in the y. For every one, two, uh, so that, that's what that means. So it's rate of changes, one unit, two units in the y for one unit in the x. That's its rate of change. Um, like for example, you would say the rate of change, let me think now, the rate of change, what else changes? Um, Speed, for example, if you're speeding up, if you're accelerating, your speed is changing. So at one moment, at, a second, at zero seconds, you might be at five um, meters per second. At uh, 10 seconds, you might be at 10 meters per second. At um, 100 seconds, you might be, I don't know, uh, 100 meters per second. Now, the rate of change would be how quickly are you changing, is your speed going up? with your time. That's what the rate of change is. And if you graphed, if you graphed this one here, let's go ahead and see if we can graph that. Okay, I'm going to say this axis here is time, this one is velocity. Alright, so at time zero we're at five, we'll say this is, um, we'll say that's five, so we're here. At time you can see that. At time 10, we're at 10. Uh, where are we? At time 10, we're at 10. And at time 100, we're at 100. Like that. That's not supposed to be a straight line. I'll do that again so it's not a straight line. Okay, and there's my graph. And now what's the rate of change? How quickly is, is your speed changing with time? And you, you draw this graph and you might want to get the slope of it. You draw a tangent line 
and you'd get you know you'd use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and that's m and you know what that is that's a big pain nobody likes doing that that's just an utter pain so what we do instead is to be honest nobody in the real world will ever compute y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 maybe a computer will do it for them instead they will use d that something that looks like this d d something so how do you read it you read this as d d right so for example um we'll say this this would be d dx d dy d d z that's what that means okay what about this i'll tell you what they mean in a moment d y dx d z d a d b d a that's what that that's how you read them or you'd say them so first of all what does the you read this as d d a okay so that means the rate of change of something i haven't written with respect to a so say y is a function of z a and b like that and if i want to find how quickly is y changing with respect to a well then i'd go dy dA. if i want to find how quickly y is changing with respect to z i would say dy dz if i want to find how quickly y is changing with respect to b i'd say dy db like that dy db what if i had uh, r is equal to function also of z a and b so i would say what if i want to find out the rate of change of r with respect to a dr da that's what that means there dr da the rate of change of r with respect to a how quickly is r changing as a changes okay so there are the variables there are the ingredients and this is the actual one itself now there are different ways of writing a differential and i'll just show you, show you them here you might see loads of these different ways you could say you could say it's uh, if i want to get ddx or something that's the rate of change of something with respect to x so you could write this you could write we'll say dy dx okay that's also equal to d dx of y like that uh, they're the same thing or you have we'll say y is equal to 2x you could have d dx of 2x or you could have uh, d 2x dx they all mean the same thing where we'll say in this case y is equal to 2x like that so the rate of change of y with respect to x the rate of change with respect to x of y that's the same thing if y is equal to 2x you say the rate of change with respect to x of 2x the rate of change with respect to x of 2x like that so it means the rate of change or the slope so you'll be using it in things like acceleration um, acceleration uh, velocity and so on now look just finally to show that these things these give you something real this isn't something airy fairy that you use in, you learn in school and never use these things have a physical meaning for example we'll say position and I'm going to say x means position okay and time equals t now the question is this what is the rate of change of position with respect to time oh, I'll tell you the answer it's speed so d x dt is equal to speed equals v what about the rate of change of v with respect to t the rate of change of velocity with respect to time gives you acceleration now i don't expect you to understand that what i hope you take from this is that differentials 
have a physical meaning and they're used everywhere. Rates of change. The rate of change of your stock prices with respect to time. That will give you something. That it give you something. Um, the rate of change of growth with respect to time. They're not all with respect to time, but if you're talking about something physical and real, you're often talking about rates of change with respect to time. You can have rates of change with respect to distance, um, area, you name it. You can have all of these things. So remember, a differential gives you a rate of change of something with respect to something. And it also gives you, because and because that's what a slope is, it gives you your slope. So look, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please pass any suggestions on to me. Uh, pass this video on to your friends uh, and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.